What's up guys, welcome to another video and in today's video I'm gonna show you entirely new Airtable for image generation. In the previous version that I have published, you could only use Seadream and you could not generate not safe for work images. Well, in this new Airtable, you can choose either if you are gonna use Seadream 4.0, Seadream 4.5 or Nano Banana Pro. Also, now we support Grok prompt provider. So if you want to generate a not safe for work image, you can use Grok and you will be able to generate it because Grok is an uncensored model. So it will be able to generate not safe for work images. Also in the previous version, you could only use Kling 2.5 Turbo to generate videos. Well, now I have added all of those models so you can generate videos of your liking. And before I show you how to set it up, just as you can see, this is a face reference image. This is a body reference image. This is a prompt image that you want to create a similar image of. It automatically generates the prompt. And now you get the images of your girl automatically created. And if you want, you can use like 100 of those prompts and you have infinite content for Instagram. And as you can see, one of those images that we have generated is this, for example. And now you see that we also have a video of this girl that you can use on Instagram Reels or TikTok with no problem. And since many of you had problems with the setup in the previous version, I simplified it into those basic steps. So in our Discord, in free resources channel, there will be a message and there will be a Google Drive link. The links will be in the free resources channel here. For now, I have it in this channel, but soon we will move them into free resources when the YouTube video is up so you can use them. So now let's get to the actual setup. The Google Drive link contains two files. One of them is a Node.js installer that will install all of the necessary libraries to run this script. And the second of them is the actual script. And now you just follow my steps and I will show you how you can set it up. So first of all, what you're going to do is you are going to right click the Node.js file and you are going to download it. Now you are going to right click the zip file and you are going to download it as well. Now you wait until it downloads. Okay, now you see that we have two files downloaded. Very important thing that you need to do is you need to extract the zip file. So you are going to right click on the zip file, you are going to click on extract and you are going to extract it into normal folder. Here you can see we have the normal folder. We don't need the zip anymore. And now the first step is to install Node.js. How you do that is you double click this installation file and you do next, 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 and it's done. I already have it installed, so I won't do it. And now for the setup of the actual Airtable. So you are going to open the Airtable folder. You are going to open the another folder. And now you open this config GUI HTML file. So when you open this, there is a website that is running locally. And here you just have to fill all of those API keys. I have simplified it as much as possible so you cannot fuck it up. But before we fill out an Airtable API key, we have to log in into Airtable, right? So you are going to go back to Discord. You are going to click on the Airtable link. And you see that this thing loads up. And now what you do is you click on copy base. When you click on the copy base, you need to sign up. And when you sign up, you can use the actual Airtable. So now I'm going to sign up and I'm going to show you what you are going to see exactly. So when you sign up, you will see the actual pre-generated Airtable. That is OK. And now we need to fill all of those API keys. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that. OK, so first of all, you see you need Airtable base ID. This you can find here in the link of the Airtable. You need to copy everything after Airtable.com slash and then you see app and there is some code. You copy everything until this first slash. You do not copy this slash. So now you do control C, go back to the config and control V. Perfect. Now you need to get your Airtable token 
and I have included links that you can just click and get the token from here. So you click on the token and here you do create token, you name it something, in add scope you add absolutely everything and in access you add the base that you have created. So it's called Cdream v2, so you do this and now you do create token. And now you copy your token, you go back to the config and you paste it into the token. Okay, that's done. Perfect. Now for the image generators. Depending if you use fall.ai or wavespeed AI, you need to get its API key. So to get your fall.ai API key, you click on get here and you just log in. And when you are logged in, you are going to go to manage API keys. Here you click on add key, create the API key, and you just copy the key. Go back to the configuration and just paste it. Now with the WaveSpeed API key, it's the exact same process. You click on get here, you sign in, and then you will go to API keys, create a key, enter a name, create a key, and now you can copy this API key. You paste it here and it is done. In my experience, WaveSpeed is much better much faster, doesn't have any problems, so I highly recommend that you use WaveSpeed. Fall.ai also works, but in my experience, their servers had a quite a big problems recently and I was not able to generate as consistently as previously. So if you can, I highly recommend that you use WaveSpeed API key. If you will have some server errors, make sure that you are using WaveSpeed instead of Fall.ai. And the last thing we need to do is Gemini API key and Grok API key. So to get your Gemini API key, you just open this website that is in the get here. And the only thing you need to do is to copy your API key or like first create it and then copy it and paste it here. Perfect. And now with the Grok API key, you are going to do the exact same thing. You post it and now you go to API keys create API key, name it something, create API key, and now you can copy it. And that's done. You have entered the API keys for the providers of Seadream and NanoBanana. Don't forget that the generation of Seadream and NanoBanana Pro is not free and you are going to pay a few cents for each generation. And you have also entered Gemini API key and Grok API key. If you want to generate not safe for work images, you need to absolutely use Grok. But don't worry, if you input a $5 into Grok API, it will last you like for, I don't know, 10,000 prompts. It's like super cheap, so don't worry about this. If you don't want to generate not safe for work images, you can just use Gemini, which has a free tier. And now it is very important that you do it correctly. You click on save configuration and now you need to find the Airtable folder that you have created and you have extracted. So I'm on desktop and in desktop I have the Airtable v3, I have another Airtable v3, cdream local and that is apis.json. So now I know I am in the correct folder and I just click save and it asks me if I want to rewrite it and I say yes. And now it is completely done. Now you can start generating. That was it. You don't have to do anything else. I made it as easy as possible. And to test it out, we are going to go into Airtable and we are going to generate, let's say, I don't know, just two of those prompts because I don't want to go bankrupt again. If you want to delete all of the generated images so you can generate new ones, you can just click here. It will select the entire column and just press delete. And the same goes with the prompt. You just press delete. So now in the configuration, we check if everything is correct. So we want to generate four images. We have our body reference. We have our face reference. We are going to be using fall.ai for the reason that I have extra credits on fall.ai. On wave speed, I unfortunately ran out of credits. Now we are going to choose the model. So we can go, I don't know, let's, let's go with Nanobana Pro. Why not? For the prompt provider, you can choose either if you use Gemini or Grok. As I said previously, you must use Grok if you want to do not safe for work. If you don't do not safe for work, it doesn't matter. So let's choose Grok because why not? For the video model, we can leave Kling 2.6 Pro. Image size, we can leave on default. Enable not safe for work, yes. Enable video, yes. If you have enable video on yes, then for every prompt and every image you have, you will get a generated video. 
If you don't want that, you can disable it by just clicking on it. Be careful, one video will cost you like half a dollar. So if you do 10 videos, you will be minus five dollars. But for the purposes of today's video, we are gonna enable video yes, and we can leave those at default, it's up to you. So we have everything set up. So now if you want to run the actual script, you see we are in the Airtable, Airtable v3, cdream local, and now there is a bad file. And now the only thing that you need to do is to locate this run.bat file and you just press enter, it launches, and you see now it's getting all of the prompts. Now Grok is analyzing the images that we have inputted here in the prompt image. In a while, it will create the prompts. You see, the prompts have been created just like that, and now it will generate the actual images. And as you can see, the first four images have been generated. And when we look closely here, you can see generated four images, saved four images. And now it is generating the video for this row. And in a while, when we get these images, we will have another generated video. Okay, we can see that those images are generated as well. The video has generated too. So we can see what we have done. So this is the reference image we have. And this are our final images. My internet is a little bit slow right now, but it is loading. We can also take a look at the first row. You can see image, another image, another image. The face reference is perfect. And we can also take a look at the generated video. So yeah, this is it. If you are gonna follow those steps, there is no way you can fuck this up, okay? So, just to recap the installation once again. In free resources, there will be this message, and the message contains Airtable link and Google Drive link. What you are gonna do is you are gonna open the Airtable link, copy the base, sign up, and create a copy of the Airtable base. Then you are gonna open the Google Drive link, you are gonna download the Airtable zip file and Node.js file, you are gonna install Node.js, then you extract Airtable from zip to normal file, then you open all of those files, you go to config GUI and you configure everything. Very important thing when you are saving the configuration is to choose the proper file that you have, so it is this Airtable v3, Airtable v3, cdream local, and when you find the API's JSON, you can then save it. After you have set up everything, you just click on this run file. And then in the actual Airtable, you input the body reference that you want, you input the face reference that you want. Here, you choose the provider of those API models, fall.ai or WaveSpeed. I highly recommend you use WaveSpeed because fall.ai sometimes has problems. You choose the image model that you want, we have the newest image models, with, uh, which are Seadream 4.5 and Nano Banana Pro. You can choose the provider of your prompts. This provider will create a prompt from this image that you input. So this image created this prompt. This image created this prompt. If you want to do nudes, if you want to do not safe for work, if you want to do something like that, you must absolutely use Grok. Gemini will block your prompt and your generation will fail. If you want to do videos, you can choose which video model you are gonna use. If you want to do not safe for work, you have to enable it. If you want to do videos, you have to enable it, but be extremely careful with the videos because a lot of videos are gonna cost you a lot of money. And those are the final parameters. And lastly, as I have shown, all of those API keys have a link get here. So when you click it, you can get to the actual website from which you can create the API key. As you can see, I just click it and because I'm logged in, I see it instantly. You see, API key and here, for example, in Google, when it loads, I can just copy the API key. So you do, so you have to do no guesswork at all. So yeah, if you have liked this video, don't forget to drop like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to join our Discord, which have tons and tons of free resources, free ConfUI workflows, and many things that are absolutely for free. As I said, this Airtable will be in the free resources. You don't have, you don't have to pay me anything for it. The only thing that you will need to pay for 
are those APIs of those models. Because unfortunately, those models are available only online. You cannot run them locally. You have to pay like three or four cents for Seedream. And I'm not sure like 14 cents for Nano Banana. If you have any questions, any other video requests, drop them in the comments. If you want to DM me on Discord, for sure DM me. But as you can see, I do not have quite the time to reply to everything, but I will try to manage it today. See you in the next video. Bye.